Okay, now we're going to continue with the production for this page, and you'll notice that we've got flat colours for the header and for the navigation bar and for the footer. When in actual fact, what we've got in the original artwork is a gradient on each one. Now there's a couple of ways that I could look at this. Traditionally, what we would have done is created a single pixel wide background image and stretched that across the whole, stretch that sideways, repeat X across the whole element. But nowadays we have a slightly better way. I mean, this doesn't look too bad in the original, but seeing as quite a few people have got modern browsers now, it means that we can use a more advanced approach. And what I'm going to introduce you to now is the gradients options from CSS3. So I'm just going to dive straight in. Let's start with a header. Okay, now my header is going from 5.2 all the way down to about 1.4. So I'm just going to go over to a useful tool. There's quite a few CSS3 gradient generators around. And um, this is one that I found today that I particularly like. It's got a bunch of presets here, so you can just click any particular one and it'll give you a horizontal or a vertical gradient. And it simply gives you the code here that you can copy and paste into pretty much any browser. It'll work for all the modern ones, so it'll work for Mozilla, it'll work for WebKit, which is Chrome and Safari, and it's even got one for the latest version of IE. So here's what I'm going to start with. I'm not going to start with you. Okay, so I'm going to start with a basic light to dark. And let's just go back and get my colours again. So we're starting from 5.2 and it's going down to actually 08. So from 5.2s to 08. So what I do is I click on that one, click on the colour, and I simply do 5.2. In fact, I type it into the to there and the bottom one click on the color it's quite similar to Photoshop you'll notice 080808 and that's giving me a nice light gray down to dark gray so all I need to do is copy this bunch of code and then I'm going to go into my text editor and for my header so it's already got a background in there Simply paste it all in. I'll go full screen so you can see. So it's got the background there for 5.2. Now actually I want the, the 08 at the end so I'm just going to delete that and see what happens. If I save that, come back into Chrome and refresh. There you go, bingo. Nice background tone. Okay, so let's do exactly the same thing for the navigation bar. It's going from C4 down to A8. Let's do it in here. That's better. It's looking good. And now the same with the footer. I'm going from. I'm just going to copy those from Photoshop. It's quicker. So here's my top one. Paste it straight in. Back to Photoshop. Pick the bottom colour by clicking with the eyedropper. Copy the colour. can do even complex gradients with this and then uh, that looks, looks looking really good so let me just copy this and 
and this is going to be for my footer. So I'll just add a few lines in there, paste that in. There you go, job done. Three lovely little gradients with no extra images used. I've still only used one image for this whole page, which is that grass. And there's no way around that. You can see I've got almost no HTML. I've got a minimal, relatively minimal amount of CSS here. And I've got a good looking page. Now in an older browser, we're not going to get the, the gradients showing up. But it's still not going to look too bad. So that's the choice we each need to make with a website. But uh, I'm pretty happy with that result so far. That's going to look very similar to my original graphic in Photoshop.